How's it going everyone? It's Gadgets Boy and this is the DJI Spark drone. So this is a mini drone and if you're a beginner at flying drones and you want something that's small that could easily fit in your bag, then this could be for you. Uh, it's small yet it still has all the DJI's DNA when it comes to design and functionality all over it, written all over it, including experience when you're flying this drone. It has some of the most intelligent uh, flight control options available that I've seen on any drone. Um, you have a mechanical gimbal and a camera capable of shooting full HD videos as well. Launching the Spark is very easy and can be done from the palm of your hands while by holding it until lift off. Using the options available on the app, you can also select different control options. You can take off uh, very quickly uh, by just tapping. You can take photos using uh, gestures. And also, thanks to these incredible sensors, it keeps you safe when you're flying it as well. It's also got active track system, which means uh, you'll be able to follow you. Some of some of you may know this as some sort of like follow me mode. So you just tap, you can track yourself and uh, allows you to do other things without worrying about controlling it at the same time. So maybe you're skating. It just allows you to unleash uh, the true creativity in you. And there's also this Jedi mode. It's not actually called Jedi mode, but I call it that, which means you can actually use your hand as a sort of gesture and you can control the DJI Spark itself by just, uh, you know, setting it off starting this mode and then pointing at it using your palm and just moving it around it's pretty cool i mentioned tap options briefly earlier and this includes uh rocket which allows you to basically launch the spark to ascend with the camera pointing downwards towards you it creates this sort of like nice cinematic mode and also you can use this to uh fly backwards and upwards with the camera locked on you as well that's called the droney mode and there's also circle mode which as the name suggests you can use it to circle around you and this Helix or Helix, if I'm saying that right, you can fly upwards uh, with the with the spark just spiraling around you, which again can create a nice cinematic effect or dramatic effect, if you if you will. Um, while this is not Mavic Pro or or the Mavic, uh, it still ensures smooth video capture. It's got two axis mechanical gimbal combined with some software witchery like witchcraft, whatever you want to call it. Uh, DJI calls it ultra smooth technology to reduce shake and rolling shutter effect, which is something that I've experienced uh, previously with other drones. The camera itself has f 2.6 12 megapixel wide angle lens, so you get really good image quality and shooting HD, you still get really good quality as well. I think I've said that too many times now. So what about its flight ca uh, capability? You can fly up to 50 kilometers per hour in sports mode. Uh, you can fly it for 16 minutes max, depending on wind, uh, can, uh, your weather condition and flight condition. With the Fly More Pack, you can use the controller with it as well, connect it to your smartphone and you can stream what you can see at 720p in real time, up to two miles away from you as well. It's also compatible with DJI goggles as well, which you have to spend extra on if you want to use that, but it gives you an extra way of flying, like it's first person sort of view flight mode. Again, for the beginners out there, you get a return to home, flight protection using the forward facing sensors to you know protect you from crashing into things and even the battery is intelligent so you never fly with a near empty battery for example it means you won't just run out of battery while you're flying in the air anyway that's the dji spark it's been a great experience with this uh, mini drone and actually uh really like it i think i'm still a mavic pro person though just because i like the 4k option however if you're a beginner and you just want something to start with start with 1080p is still good uh, it's a good uh, drone to buy as well and it's affordable anyway guys do let me know what you think in the comments below and uh, thanks for watching catch you guys in the next one